All right, y'all already read the title. Here's how you automate the mod wheel in contact in FL Studio. So once you have contact open, uh, you want to click on the plus and add a MIDI out. And once you have a MIDI out, you need to go to the contact settings, click on the wrapper settings and change the input port to one, or you can make it anything, but in this example, we're gonna use one. And on your MIDI out, the port number here has to match what the input is on contact. So close that. And now you pretty much just have to select what channel you would like to modify. So uh, channel one would be like MIDI channel one here on contact. And if I had a second instrument, I would change this to two in contact. And then I would change this to two to match up. So, but in this instance, we're doing one and one. And pretty much what you're gonna do on the MIDI out is right click one of these gears, go configure, and you can call it whatever the heck you want. I will call it a uh, mod wheel. Give it a value. Typically the CC value should be one because that's usually what the dynamics or mod wheel is for most instruments, but you can make whatever you want in most controls and contact are assignable. So you'll see what I mean in a minute, but we're gonna do one. So now if I move this mod wheel over here, it corresponds with the strings, which is great. So that's exactly what we wanted to do. And that's how you do it. But if you wanted to modify another parameter, most contact libraries are great because you can just right click on something and it'll already tell you what the CC value is. So in this case for expression, it's 11 or you know, the brightness doesn't have one. So if I want to change the brightness, it's the same exact process. I would just go configure and call it brightness. And um, the value's arbitrary, but there is kind of a range you wanna follow. It's, uh, I'll show you how to get to there in a minute. So we're gonna do 116. And now if you right click on the parameter, go learn MIDI CC, whatever you change next, whatever setting you modify next, contact is gonna learn it. So as you can tell, it was listening. And so now if I right click on the parameter, it'll say, hey, remove MIDI automation. Cause it knows I did 116 cause that's, that's 116 is the value that now changes brightness. So you could do it to any parameter on pretty much any contact library. Almost all of them are compatible with us. Um, and in FL Studio, if you right click the knob and you go type in value, typically 0.5 is gonna be like your, your balance point, like your middle for the library. So anyway, if you wanna see values like I was telling you about, um, you wanna go up here to the little arrow and go browse parameters. And as you can tell over here, there's a bunch of values. Um, and if you go low enough, it'll say like, here's what the different MIDI CCs do. Most of them are assigned. If they're blank, you can pretty much use them for anything. So we went to 116, which I just happen to know off the top of my head is blank, but um, you can read through these and they, these all change different parameters in contact. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck on your music.